to everyone. My name is Danilo Pau. I work for Advanced System Technology in uh, Agrate ST Microelectronics. Um, welcome to uh, the first demonstration of STM32 uh, CubeMX.ai that is a brand new client server tool fully developed by ST Microelectronics. It makes automatic and fast conversion of any pre-trained neural network into a um, optimized, memory optimized and a computational fast uh, library. Then the library can be executed on any STM32 MCU platform. It's easy to use since the client is based on uh, a browse, browser page. All the operation can be controlled with simplicity. Um, it interfaces uh, very popular deep learning tools such as uh, uh, Lasagne and Soteano, uh, Keras and so TensorFlow and uh, uh, CNTK and as well as Teano and uh, uh, for sure Cafe. Uh, the demonstrations uh, we are uh, bringing at uh, CES uh, this year are uh, uh, based uh, mainly on the following application. Audio application and so uh, scene classification and keyword spotting and initial sensor uh, processing, such as uh, human uh, activity recognition. The platform being demonstrated are a good range of STM32, and in particular, the STM32 Nucleo F4 and F7, as well as the sensor tile uh, L4 core, with uh, a variety of clock frequencies, flash, and uh, dynamic memory. So uh, the demonstration I'm going to show is based on audio processing uh, on uh, the sensor tile L4 and in particular let's start uh, from uh, the client uh, web page that is the following one. Uh, I recall that the tool is called stm32 cubemx.ai so the first uh, is uh, to show what, are, what type of interfaces uh, to a popular deep learning tool are available. In that case, uh, the audio processing has been uh, developed uh, through Lasagne, and so we pick up uh, this uh, choice. Uh, we create uh, the name of uh, uh, the network, uh, in this case, Audio Sync Classification, and then uh, we'll select uh, the, the model. The model, uh, uh, we assume that is uh, pre-computed, uh, so I will uh, select uh, uh, the, the file that uh, typically are uh, provided by the customer and then upload. So it means uh, that uh, the client is uh, sending uh, all those options uh, to the server that uh, he shortly will uh, uh, show uh, various information. First of all, uh, that's the uh, picture that shows the pipeline with the different stages of the network. For example, to the convolution, non-linearities, uh, dense layer, and other, uh, and other stages. Secondly, we show also the computational estimation, the complexity estimation of the network. For example, the number of multiply uh, accumulated, since this is directly linked to the complexity of the network. Then the memory requirement in terms of RAM and ROM. Now we need to choose uh, what is uh, uh, the platform that we would like to map. Uh, the, the neural network. So in this case uh, we are going to select uh, the sensor tile that has 80 megahertz, uh, 1 mega of flash and 131 uh, kilobyte of RAM and then uh, a range of compilers uh, are available, the one that STM32 support, in this case our choice is Kale. Then also we will run some validation which means the, the capability to convert a network that is as precise as the one that the customers uh, submitted. L we update those options, those options are sent to the server that will process uh, and now uh, the server will confirm that uh, the memory uh, used by the, ne the neural network library fit into the available uh, sensor tile as well as the validation uh, has been uh, passed successfully since uh, the average error between the submitted and the generated library is equal to zero. Now we are ready to download the library that will go through a number of steps, uh, for example creating uh, the library through the compiler uh, that in this case has been uh, uh, chosen as scale and uh, in a while uh, the library will be downloaded. So which means that uh, the customer will get access uh, to the converted uh, 
uh, optimized neural network and the number of optimization are needed because the, uh, the STM32 has a limited clock frequency, is a limited RAM, and so we need to fit uh, a network on limited resources also for low power uh, reasons. So uh, the downloading is happening uh, and uh, as you can see in the folder we downloaded uh, in a, a zip uh, that will be uh, unzipped uh, and then inside uh, you will see that, for example, in Lib there are the models uh, for the STM32 for Kale compiler, uh, as well as uh, for GCC, because uh, the customer may need some validation on his own uh, uh, PC as well. Now, these files has to be uh, um, copied into the project, uh, the application project, uh, that is uh, this one. So let me copy the libraries. That's the typical steps uh, that uh, the customer uh, would uh, need to reproduce uh, in order to integrate the library that has been generated into his own uh, project. Then let me open uh, the project itself. Uh, and I'm going to compile it, F7. So in this part of the picture you will see, so the compilation went uh, perfectly. And uh, now let's uh, install uh, uh, the library on the sensor tile. The completion is very close. Uh, OK, has been done. Now I can uh, run the, uh, uh, the library. OK, now the library is running. So let me switch on an audio file. For example, outside uh, noise. So let me detach the uh, sensor tile. From the, from the board, I will reboot it. So why it is flashing two times? Because uh, it is uh, recognizing uh, the outside noise. So. so the neural network in this moment is recognizing that there, there is noise due to the ambience and will flash two times to notify that. So this concludes the uh, demonstration of the audio sync classification through the STM32 uh, CubeMX.ai toolchain that supports any STM32 MCU platform. I'm very happy that you followed through all that presentation and uh, uh, please uh, contact me uh, if uh, you need any help or any further explanation. Thanks for your time.